In this video, I'm going to go over what the market's doing in the Claremont, Florida and surrounding areas, including Mineola, Groveland, Montford, and Winter Garden, which includes the very popular Horizon West and Hamlin areas. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home in these areas, you're going to want to understand the correlation between some key real estate metrics. So let's take a closer look at the data to help you make informed decisions. Now I like to remind you that when we're looking at the data, we're gonna be looking at the median values rather than averages. And that's because the median values, they're not affected by the outliers. Now I like to give the example of if you are looking at homes and in an area, the home values are in the 500s, but one home sold for 5 million. If you average all of those home prices that have sold, that $5 million sold home, that home that sold for $5 million, that's gonna skew your average. If you look at median prices, that means the middle price, half the homes have sold lower and half the homes have sold higher. That median price, this is a much better metric to use when analyzing market data. Now, I also want you to keep in mind that real estate market trends are hyper local. So while national news and national trends are important to watch, it's very important to look at these metrics in the market that you plan to buy or sell in to make the best decision. So let's get into the market data. In the real estate market, there are several key metrics that can provide valuable insight to both buyers and sellers. So let's take a closer look at the correlation between these metrics to help you understand how they can impact the overall market dynamics. First, we have month supply of inventory, which currently stands at 2.52. Now note that this is up from 1.8 months of inventory in June of 2023. Now this metric, it represents the number of months it would take to sell all the available homes on the market, assuming that no new listings are added. A lower month supply indicates a seller's market where demand exceeds supply, so it puts the sellers in a favorable position. Now, as a general rule, five to six months of inventory is considered a normal or a balanced market. Over six months of inventory, and we have a buyer's market. And if it's less than five months, we have a seller's market. The smaller the available inventory, the tighter the market is. Now, it's also important to consider the 12 month change in months of inventory, which shows an increase of nearly 63%. So the supply of homes is significantly more when you compare the inventory of September 2022 to September 2023. However, at the same time, we're seeing that the pace at which the inventory is growing has slowed. And part of the reasons why we're seeing inventory is still so low is that sellers who currently have two, three, 4% interest rates, they're not motivated to sell right now. They're staying put in those homes versus going into a new home with seven to 8% interest rates. So the homes that are going, on, it going for sale, what we're seeing is those tend to be homeowners that have job transfers or unfortunately divorces. Those are some of the leading reasons why homes are coming on the market. Another important metric to look at is median days on market, which is currently at 18. Now this indicates the average number of days it takes a home to sell once it's listed. A low median days on market suggests high demand and a faster pace of sales, which can benefit sellers. Conversely, a higher median days on market might indicate a slower market or less demand, favoring buyers. The market is very different from 2022, however, Homes that are in excellent condition and priced right are continuing to sell. Sellers have had to readjust their expectation over the last year in regards to condition and pricing of their homes. In 2022, 2021, it could be in any condition and they had multiple offers on it. The inventory was just so low and the demand was so high. Now, sellers have had to readjust their expectations as I told you. And when the homes are in excellent condition and it's priced right, meaning very competitively priced to get amongst the competition, they're selling. Now sellers, you're also gonna to wanna to keep in mind that you're also competing against new construction homes where the builders are currently offering some great financial incentives to make their homes the most attractive to buyers. So keep that in mind when you're looking to price your home to sell and the condition that it's in. 
The list to sold price percentage is another metric worth considering. With a value of 98.8%, this number represents the percentage of the listing price that homes are typically sold for. A higher percentage indicates that homes are selling close to their listing price, indicating we're still in a competitive market. And last, we want to look at the median sold price, which is at $453,500, and compare that to June of 2023, where it was just over $467,000. Now, this metric is the middle price point. Remember, we talked about median. So it's the middle price point of all the homes that sold in the market in Claremont. And it can serve as a benchmark for both buyers and sellers to understand the general price point in this area. Again, it goes back to if sellers are pricing their homes competitively against the competition and their homes are in excellent condition, these homes are selling quickly. Now, when you compare the median prices between June uh, to September, there's roughly a 13,500 decrease in the median sold prices. Now, when you look at why that might be, let's look at June and the average interest rate was in the six sixes versus September when they were in the sevens. So as rates go up, prices tend to come down because as rates go up, buyers buying power goes down. So all in all, prices have held fairly steady when you factor in the rate increases. Now that we've gone over the data for Claremont, let's get into Mineola. So let's look at month supply of inventory. Mineola has two months supply of inventory. Median days on market, nine days. List to sold price is at 99.2%. The median sold price in Mineola is 450,740. And the number of active listings is 38. Next, let's take a look at Montverde. We have five months supply of inventory. 17 is median days on market, list to sold price, 98%, median sold price, 729,390, and there are 38 active listings on the market. Now let's take a look at Groveland. We've got 2.64 months supply of inventory. Median days on market is 17, list to sold price at 97.8%, median sold price, 385,000, and there are 108 active listings. And finally, let's take a look at Winter Garden. We have 2.73 months supply of inventory, 20 is the median days on market, list to sold price is 99%, median sold price is 680,000, and there are 256 active listings. So taking a look at these real estate metrics, they can provide you really great insight into the current state of the market. So let's recap a little bit. While the month supply of inventory suggests a seller's market, the significant increase in the 12 month change in months of inventory, this indicates a gradual shift towards a more balanced market. And the low median days on market, this emphasizes a fast paced nature of the market. While the high list to sold price percentage this showcases a competitive environment. And last but not least, the median sold price. This gives us an idea of the overall market value. So by understanding the correlation between these metrics, whether you're a buyer or a seller, you can make informed decision in this ever evolving real estate market. I really hope that you found that data helpful. And again, real estate market trends are hyper local. So if you want data on a specific zip code, area, or neighborhood, reach out and I'm happy to provide that information to you. And if you're looking to move to the Claremont area or you're looking to sell your home in the Central Florida area, I would love to help you. The next step would be to call me on my cell at 407-820-7017 and we can start the conversation of finding you your perfect home. If I don't see you here in Claremont, I look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood.